Hello, my very, my very beautiful Leos. How are you guys? I hope everyone is doing well. If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, then welcome back. We are doing your first week of September reading, and it is a general reading. It will not be able to resonate for all of you. Um, but everything that you guys need to know about the reading or about scheduling personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. I mean, if you guys want something that is more tailored to your specific energy, um, then I do have personals open. So we are going to pray and get right into it. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Leos for the first week of September, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Leo's energy for the first week of September. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, guys, keep in mind that even though it is geared for the first week of September, whenever you guys come across the reading is when it was meant for you to hear. All right. So at the bottom of the deck for our general energy, we have the star card. I like this. And we have the chariot right under that. So really beautiful energy here, okay? I do feel like we are moving toward healing something. And I do feel like it's been kind of a long time coming, Leo. So we have the nine of cups in the reverse. And we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse or in the upright for the situation. Okay, there is something here that you are choosing to give your attention to, whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, okay? And we're going to pull separate cards for your specific energies in a moment. But somebody here is recognizing that they're not happy within this connection or there's something about the way that you guys are and where you guys are at right now um, that they're not happy with and that they, they want to work on it. They want to heal this, okay? They want to fix it. They want to bring things back into balance. So let's go ahead and take a look. Whether this is you or them, we will find out right now. Let's take a look at the Leo's energy. Show me Leo's energy towards this person. What is Leo's energy towards this person, please? Show me Leo's energy towards the person they're dealing with. The Seven of Swords in the reverse and the Lovers. Okay, so I do feel like this is apology energy. You guys could be wanting to reach out to somebody here. Um, you do still have a, you know, a lot of feelings for this person, a major you know, a major connection here. It's a very deep connection. It's a very significant connection. And I do feel like you want to work on this as well. Okay, so this could be your energy. But for some reason, I'm feeling like it's very much a mutual energy. You guys could be making a decision to reach out and apologize here. Keep in mind, guys, that the roles could be reversed. And if you resonate more with the person on this side of me, you know, then just flip the roles around. Show me the person Leo is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Leo? the four of wands in the reverse and the star card in the reverse so this person isn't sure that it is possible for you guys to heal the connection i do feel like they still want to um they're just not sure if you guys can they're not sure if you guys can okay the four of wands can talk about um you know an accomplishment accomplishment reaching that finish line so with it being in the reverse i'm kind of feeling opposite energies okay i do feel like this person just doesn't know if you guys are going to be able to not that they don't want to. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse as well. So I do feel like they're not as, they maybe not haven't expressed that to you. I feel like they could be afraid to express that to you or even I'm hearing out loud. Um, they could be even afraid to admit that out loud because they do want to heal it. They do want to make this work, but they do have some fears that um, you guys just won't be able to. All right, so what actions will Leo be taking towards this person? What actions will Leo be taking towards this person? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The King of Wands. So even though it is taking a lot from you um, to continue to try to heal this situation, because the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can be a very draining energy, okay? You guys are choosing to take the action. Anyways, you are choosing um, to kind of try to push past that, even though you've been trying, even though it's taken so much from you to just keep going, I do feel like you guys are, that is the energy that you guys are in, okay? You guys are choosing to continue um, to work on this. Let's find out, I want to know why they, they feel this way. Tell me about this Four of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Four of Wands in the reverse here? 
the Empress in the reverse. They just feel like the attraction isn't what it used to be and that you guys, I feel in this energy of like growing apart, okay, with the Empress in the reverse. When the Empress is in the upright, it talks about, you know, being very attracted and growing in abundance. And I just feel like, um, you know, this person feels like it's this connection has taken a lot from both of you. And I do feel like they feel like you guys have grown apart, okay? That the feelings just aren't quite, the attraction just isn't quite what it used to be. And it's already taken so much from you. Tell me about the star card in the reverse. Tell me about the star card in the reverse. The queen of swords in the reverse. I, yeah, I do feel like this person is afraid um, to speak up though. They're afraid to tell you that they really, they do, this person does care about you a great deal, Leo. They don't want to hurt you by telling you that they're just not as attracted. And I'm not even just mean physically. I mean, I mean more just they're not as passionate about the connection, okay, is what I mean by that. And that they feel like you guys have grown apart, that you guys are in different places, um, that you guys even want different things. But they, they're afraid to communicate that with you. They really don't want to hurt you is what this feels like to me. What actions will this person be taking? What actions will this person be taking towards Leo? The world card. I do feel like they are moving more towards, um, you know, closing this out. Let's see. What potential outcomes do we have? What potential outcome do we have? We have the chariot. Okay, so things moving forward. What other potential outcome do we have for Leo? All right. So you guys do have a lot of love for each other, but you guys are recognizing that one of the things that keeps you guys together and not allowing you guys to genuinely, you know, move forward and find things that are more meant for you or that you guys are more aligned with now is, I'm going to say comfortability. Um, the devil card, the devil card showing up, it can talk about fears and it can talk about codependency. And that's what I'm feeling from it. Okay. There's this level where you guys have been together for so long and been through so much and you guys have so much love for each other with this ace of cups that there's a lot of fears about living without each other and, you know, getting back into the dating pool and what is learning to just live without each other and going through that. That is the thing that has kept you guys together and the thing that has kept you guys um, for fighting for this connection, even though it takes so much from both of you. And this person is starting to really recognize that, okay, for what it is. And I do feel like you guys are both going to start to recognize that. I do feel like this person is going to um, end up, you know communicating that to you they are going to end up closing things out at some point that is where the energy is um, but you in choosing for you both to move forward this is your potential outcome so you will be moving past this you will be having faith you will be moving through it because i do feel like you're starting to you're going to start to recognize too leo um that you guys are still fighting for this but maybe not for the right reasons okay and the nine of wands in the reverse i do feel like you're going to be coming um, in two terms with your own truth that maybe you are not as um, passionate about the connection, you know, anymore either, okay? That you guys are more on a mutual energy. And the Six of Cups can talk about, yeah. Uh, let's see, right under the bottom of the deck for this too, we have the King of Cups. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse and the Six of Cups. So this is more of that like confirmation energy that yes, you guys do have a lot of love for each other, but you guys are also you know, more emotionally mature that you can start to accept um, that maybe this just isn't what's meant for both of you and that maybe something else is more aligned with you and that it's not good for either one of you to keep, you know, allowing something to drain you for the wrong reasons um, and not to allow the past to hold you back. The Six of Cups is Scorpio energy and it can talk about spending too much time in the past. I um, you know, the past is keeping you from accepting the truth of the situation. So I do feel like you guys are going to be coming to, you, to some really deep truths for yourself and for this connection. I think this person may be already there, um, but I feel like you are going to be stepping into those truths as well. This person really does love you and doesn't want to hurt you, but they also don't want to see, you know, fighting for this takes so much from you either. So... 
we're going to get some confirmation, clarifications, and some advice now. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, what confirmation, clarification, and advice do we have for my beautiful Leos, please? What confirmation, clarification, or advice do we have for my most beautiful Leos? Any confirmation, clarification, or advice? All right, at the bottom of the deck, which I think this is the perfect card, we have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. All right, Leo, so full moons are, up, are all about closing out cycles and releasing, okay? Things coming to that head, the cycle being closed. I do feel like that's what this energy is. And this don't let pride get in your way. Don't let, you know, this person not being as passionate about this, you know, wound your pride and make you want to hold on to this or hurt you, you know, unnecessarily. Because the truth of the matter is, is, you know, if you're really honest with yourself, okay, if this reading is read is resonating for you, a lot of you feel that way as well, okay? But it can be an ego thing and it can be a pride thing and it can hurt. Um, but just to really see things for the truth of what they are and not let the emotions, um, and the ego kind of cloud that for you. Now, a personal issue reaches a resolution, a full moon in Cancer. So more of that full moon energy, okay? Saying that this is at least going to, you know, come to some kind of head here. And have faith in your dreams. You are very close to achieving your goal. So I do feel like with this energy here, Spirit is saying, you guys know the kind of... You guys know how draining this has been and how painful this has been. You guys also know that kind of vision that you have... Um, of what your perfect romance, like romance looks like, that perfect partner looks like, what that perfect life looks like. Spirit is saying, have faith in that and don't settle. Don't settle and be unhappy for the wrong reasons. Don't stay places where you're not living that for the wrong reasons, okay? Um, that you can have it and it'll happen sooner than you think with this. You're very close to achieving your goals. Just don't make it harder than necessary by, you know, letting the ego and the pride get in the way of things. Okay, things are getting sorted out. So that is what I have for you guys. I know this is a difficult, painful situation. You guys have already been through so much. So I'm going to be sending all kinds of light and love to you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising in Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, our mid-monthlies, and our weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. Um, but most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending all kinds of light and love and until next time.